Laura York and this is Juice Produce for Life. Green juices, they're the cornerstone for juicers. Everyone seems to have their favorite blend and this is mine. I like to call it Go Green. It's very simply four leaves of kale. Kale is so important in your diet. It's just packed with all kinds of vitamin A and C and of course protein. So many times I hear from skeptics when it comes to juicing, well how do you get your protein? You need red meat for protein. By no means do you have to have red meat to get protein alone. Kale is packed with good protein. Also Granny Smith apples, not that they have protein, but they're packed with lots of vitamin C. It really flavors up this juice. I'm using two Granny Smith apples, a handful of parsley. Parsley is like one of these forgotten herbs that's so well known around the world, but here in the United States we always think of it just as a garnish on the plate, but it has a lot of good potential uh, vitamins and minerals in it that we need to take in. And then um, celery, two stalks of celery, or excuse me, three stalks of celery, and to give it a little kick and to also ease the stomach is fresh ginger that I've cut up here. It's just about a one inch knuckle of fresh ginger. I like to peel my ginger, some people don't. I tend to peel it all the time before I put it in the juicer. So let's get started. As always, you wanna start with the leafy greens first. I like to break mine and start feeding it through. I do use the stock, why not? It has plenty of good juice in it. Just tear it. This is the Omega Vert 350. Vert because of its vertical stand on the countertop. Not a big space demander. I'm gonna go ahead and have a bonus piece of kale, what the heck. This was a little wee one, so we'll just sneak him in there. You can never have too much kale. Now for the parsley. About a handful of fresh parsley. Parsley gives it that really bright green flavor. I love the flavor of parsley. It's also good to uh, neutralize your breath after a meal. Actually, that's why they put parsley on our trays, but most of us think it's just for aesthetics. Now for the juicier produce. Let's start adding those Granny Smith apple pieces. I like to chop my apples, but I am leaving the peel on, as you can see. Lots of nutrients in the peel. People forget how much vitamin C you get out of apples. For some reason we always know oranges, but apples are just as loaded with vitamin C. And certainly you could use a different type of apple. There's all kinds out there. I just am partial to the Granny Smith, and since this is a green juice, you had to go with a green. It wouldn't matter though. Now I'm going to add the ginger next because I want it to get flushed through when the celery goes through with the high water content of the celery. That'll give us every bit of flavor from that ginger. Ginger is so important. A lot of folks use it for easing stomach pains. It's been noted even for chemotherapy uh, patients that it can ease their stomach pain. Pregnant mothers, morning sickness, even if you're on a cruise to some faraway land, you might want to have a little bit of ginger on board to settle your stomach if you're leaning towards seasickness. Again, this didn't take any time. I had my vegetables prepped, but you can always prep your vegetables and have them on hand and ready if you want a fresh juice, or you can freeze it for a couple of days, which is what I'll end up doing with part of this juice today. But this is my favorite, I call it Go Green. And that's it. Now we have three cups of great green juice here. You know, I think I would tell a young boy that this is what the Hulk drinks, and that might help sell a little green juice in his diet. Again, I'm Laura York for Juice Produce for Life. This is my favorite Go Green Juice. I hope it'll become yours. Enjoy.